Good morning. I am Mark Sebastian, the founder of OptionPit.com, and this is the AM Volatility Report. Uh, reminder, this is for educational purposes only. None of this should be construed as investment advice. Uh, any any uh, consultant or financial professional, uh, options have risks. So here we are. It is Monday after a long weekend, and we've got some new fears. We've got Italy, May. Italy is Italy, and, you know, we just had a huge run-up, and I think there's money coming off the table. There's always things that you can find to complain about, and we are mostly red today, but that's after what amounts to an extremely bull run out of the stock market. And, you know, as I look at the overall market, yeah, you've got the VIX up 1.8, but this is coming up after a three-day weekend. So really only up about 60 cents. Um, there's not a lot of movement in the futures. Uh, I mean, if you look at the July futures, they are, you know, not up very much. They're about $7.20. Really a kind of a whopping 20 cents from, from uh, the 3 o'clock close. Um, and, you know, not a lot of excitement really out of anything. So uh, for right now, they're letting this be a little one-offish. Uh, and they're trading it like it's not that big of a deal. And uh, I would not be surprised if that was the case. Um, you've got the Dow down 100 points, the S&P down 16. Uh, really, the, the one that's weak and soft is the Russell 2000, but not a lot of weakness out of the rest of them. Uh, the NASDAQ's a little weak as well. Um, but really, it's not like markets are, are panicky or, or there seems to be a lot of, of pent-up fear. Um, Heck, a $16 day, you're going to need more movement to uh, to keep the VIX this high because uh, a 1640 VIX is pricing in over 1% a day. So vol is fully priced is the point. Even if we sell off a little bit, volatility is pretty well priced uh, unless we get something scary, and thus far we have not. Um, how about how bad the airlines have done? Um, after really killing it with low fuel costs, lots of people, you name it. I mean, Delta, just an ugly, ugly chart. AAL, UAL, airlines, the transpose, IYT in general, just terrible. All right. uh, some of the, you know, oil has been pretty flat line, so unsurprising, just pretty flattish in XLU and some of those other ones. The area where we continue to see just crazy buying is in bonds, where TLT is up again, um, like full on, we're never seeing lower rates again, is what TLT is. I mean, it's now above two-year highs, its vol is exploding, and you can see it really is legitimately exploded. All right, so what does that mean? Well, there should be some value in things like XLP and XLU, where the vol is low and they're very interest rate sensitive. This, these look like interesting places to buy puts or calls or straddles because the vol is so cheap. All right, a, a real opportunity here to, uh, to trade some things. All right, in, in terms of how cheap some of this stuff is. All right, and when you look, XLP, XLU, those are the two that are up. Meanwhile, some of the other ones, some of the big dividends, energy are down. Yep. Yeah, Tesla is the, Tesla. There's another one off 3% after a really nice run-up in what appear to be a short squeeze. Uh, but take a look at that vault, way higher. This is why the little hedge trade that we put on in Tesla is really valuable. Um, and you can see that vol is way higher, which means uh, it might get pushed. There was a negative article over the weekend about how many uh, Model S's they delivered. And apparently it was a very disappointing number. So our boy Elon Musk... Uh, not only is he trying to merge a losing company into his one company that might win, but he's also uh, not 
apparently not keeping his eye on the ball here with everything he's got going on. Now, what's going to happen here? Remember, we had a huge up day on, uh, on Friday, right? It opened 206, ran at 218, and is back off. So, um, you know, all in all, this is one where uh, keep an eye on. Will there be buyers? And uh, what's the vol going to do? And for right now, that vol is bid, very, very bid. And, uh, you know, that uh, presents some opportunities, obviously. So, um, and then across, from, aside from that, um, you know, the vol products up a little bit, but still nothing special. And uh, today, probably going to be a down day, but I, I'm, it just doesn't feel like we're going to be um, tanking. And um, they've already started to take some of that VIX wall off. I would be, I think I would lean it, it toward fading this move. That's my, my gut. All right, folks, if you have questions, you can email me, marketoption.com. You can call me 888-TRADE-01. Have a good one.